Would you like to know how to structure your story so that you can resonate better with your target market and make more sales? Well, if that is a resounding yes, then make sure that you stay around for this video because I wanna share with you a three-step formula that is going to do just that. It's going to teach you how to structure your story so that you're able to better connect, to better resonate with your target market, make you more reliable, which will lead to more sales. If it's your first time here, I'm Melanie Weber and my channel is all about helping you create a professional life and a personal life that you absolutely love so that you have greater time freedom to spend that time doing the things that you love and with the people that you love so that you're not bound by a specific location to do your work and also to you make a great income in order to be able to do that. If that really resonates with you, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button below and the bell notification so you know when I come out with videos similar to this one with really great content. Now, before I step you through the three-step formula, for those of you who don't know my story and how I started my online business, I'd like to share that with you. So before my business, I was working in human resources and I actually worked on an island. Now, before you start conjuring up images of beautiful palm trees, a lovely tropical island, where when you land on the beach, that you get presented a lay of beautiful flowers and draped around your neck, it was the complete opposite of that. So put those images out of your head. I did work on an island. It generally took me an hour to get to work each day. If there was any emergency or I needed to leave work for any reason suddenly, then there wasn't the flexibility or the ease of just getting into my car and driving. That wasn't the case at all. I had to somehow arrange a ferry to get back to the mainland to then get into my car. As the only HR person in my location, I had to be available or I needed to be contactable 24 seven because it was a 24 hour operation. Because I had a young child at the time, I could only work part time and therefore my earnings were, were limited by the number of hours that I could work. And probably the biggest thing is I felt torn between my roles. I felt torn between my role as a wife, my role as a mother, and my role as being myself and having time available to myself to do the things that I enjoyed. Now, it was when I was pregnant with my second child, or and particularly once I had started maternity leave with her, was that I started exploring, well, is there something else available out there? Is there something that is going to give me the flexibility in terms of where I work, when I work, but, but still enable me to earn a decent salary? And the answer to that question came to me through a blog post, which was written by an Australian gentleman who had been in online marketing for seven years. He worked from home, he set his own hours, he was his own boss. And the thing that really stood out to me was that he has a young family. So I thought if he can do this, then maybe I can as well. So fast forward to now, I have my own business, I work from home, I work hours around whatever my family is doing, so I feel that I'm better so I feel I'm better placed in order to be able to support my children, support my husband and also too to support myself while still pursuing my passion for helping people, which is what really drew me to the profession of human resources. So that's my story. And my rationale for sharing my story with you isn't just for me to wrap it on where I've come from, but it was to demonstrate the three-step formula to help you with your storytelling so you can package it in a way that is going to connect with your audience. So reflecting back on how I shared my story, I started off by saying where I had come from, what was my situation at that time before I started my business, and especially what was my problems in terms of not having flexibility to be able to leave my work location when I had an emergency. My earning potential being restricted due to the number of hours that I was available to work. And most of all, feeling torn or feeling like I wasn't doing any of my roles exceptionally well in my capacity as a wife, a mum. My story then moved on to what the solution to my problem was. And that was coming across that blog post, which demonstrated to me that there was another way. There was an, another option available to me that was going to address my pain points, that was going to enable me to work in a different way in order to support what I desired personally. 
And then my story moved along to what my life is like now, how it is different to what it was like beforehand as a result of me implementing the solution. So quite simply put, the three-step formula is starting off by explaining what was the problem or what was the original starting point. You then move on to the solution or whatever it is is going to address the pain points or make your life better before you then progress on to what your life is like now, how it is improved as a result of implementing that solution. So a very simple method, but I think you'll agree a very effective way that is going to help you be able to structure your story so that you're able to communicate it to your target audience and help them understand how the solution is going to help them in the long run and is going to address the frustrations or the pain that they're experiencing. I hope you've gotten value from watching this video. If there's anyone else that you think will also benefit from watching them, please do share it with them. If there's any tips that you would like to share in terms of how you structure your story to ensure that it has a powerful impact on your target audience, then please do share below in the comments. And until I see you on my next video, I hope you take the greatest of care.